Hello Libra, welcome back to my channel. I am Audrey and this is Safer Libra, where we talk all things Libra. Libra, y'all already know the particulars. Let's get on in here to this reading. Okay, so I'm excited to give you guys this reading. We're going to be talking about energies and I do feel like that there's been a magnetic, um, there's been some type of energetic field that was brought here from none other than the sun. Okay, um... You know about the sun? The sun had a solar flare. First of all, let me give this girl her flowers while she's still here. Queen Cup. Let me tell you, okay? <laughs> Queen Cup. I got to give her her flowers while she's here. I don't see nobody. And I'm just going to... I just don't see nobody that does tarot in the way that she does it. And it's just like such a passion so um i was watching one of her lives the other day and she was talking about a solar storm and it's a pretty inform informative video so if you already watch queen cup you already know the vibes okay <laughs> anyway but i just wanted to give her her flowers while she's still here because she's doing amazing work so shout out to her check out her channel queen cup okay um but she was talking about a solar storm so, I've been seeing things about solar storms and should we prepare for a um, billion dollar internet crash and things like that. But what really caught my attention was that around like July 3rd, the sun had a solar flare where the sun burst some energy, like one of the layers was open, you know. This ain't, this ain't scientific terms at all, okay? Shout it. <laughs> Okay, don't worry. I'm on one right now. I'm just super energetic for some reason. Y'all know I be real, real low-key, real chill. But today, I'm just like energetic. So the sun let off some type of energetic. It was a solar flare. And basically, particles and energy from the sun landed on Earth. And what I want to know is what that was. That happened in July, okay? Um, I want to know what that was. What did the sun bring to the earth and what does that mean for us? So this is what this, so if you're interested in this reading, this is what this reading is definitely going to be about. So let me go ahead and get you guys some, um, of these Oracle cards first. And I'm trying to, trust me, it's not on purpose. I just forget to show you guys the decks that I'm using. This is the Priestess of Light Oracle deck. Okay, um, most of my decks, I get them off Amazon, so you can go ahead and go to Amazon. I do also have a store near me that is like a spirituality store. It sells everything, like, it's an intuitive heaven, okay? Anyway, um, heaven on earth, heaven on earth, heaven on earth. The sun, the sun brought heaven on earth. Um, ooh, okay, I guess that's it. Let me see. I didn't, I guess the sun said. Okay. <clears throat> so let me see what these cards are. It's cold in here. <clears throat> I put it on this mic. Okay. Anyways, look at my crystals, y'all. I have been like so into them. Aren't they pretty? I made all of these bracelets. Each bracelet goes with a different affirmation. So I use these bracelets for my affirmations and things like that. Um but let's get into it hostilities conflict unrest oh we also have healing the heart the power of self-love okay um death and rebirth we got this card before darkness to the light shed light the sun is light telepathy transmission perception and communication okay having a communication with somebody um, that's not necessarily there through the energies. Okay. Also psychic abilities, being able to pick up on certain things. And what else do we have set in boundaries that's been in the air for a lot of people? Let me move these down because we're going to have to have a chit chat 
about all of these things. I feel like um, the sun definitely shed light on a couple of hostilities, a couple of conflicts, some things that you couldn't get rest on. Yes, you can see this lady, she's in front of the moon and the moon is very like, it's illusions. And the only reason why is because it's the absence of light. You know, it's just illuminated. I, what they say that the moon is not even... The light that you see that the moon has is like just a reflection of something else. Um, the moon is not light at all. And that, that's what takes the um, illumination. And I feel like the moon is, is big and it's highlighted in this picture because if there's something that you didn't see that you're definitely going to see now. And the sun, the sun actually exuded this energy, burst open so you guys can see this energy. I feel like this has something to do with what the sun has brought to the earth, what um, that solar flare was all about. And that's not the solar storm, but that's the flare that predicts this big old storm that's um, going to happen soon. You have healing the heart and the power of self-love. So the sun is all about loving energy. It's about growth. It's about happiness. So I feel like that's also shedding on you, but not a, not a but, but I feel like this is first because there's some things that you have to see first. There's some type of reasonings why. I was also, there's something that came to me yesterday was that like some, some of you guys could have been feeling really, really, really bad and you don't know why. You could have had these thoughts. You don't know why. That could be like, a karmic situation going on of why you have these type of thoughts. You could also have some type of pain, headaches, toothaches, something that's going on right there. Um, <clears throat> this could have something to do with the people in your life, with the people in your life who don't necessarily feel too fond of you. If you know where I'm trying to go, okay? Um, a lot of you guys have been very, very restless. Because you've been trying to find out some information that you were not going to get until universe, until God say, okay, now it's time for you to see it. It's time for this person to see it. Because believe it or not, sometimes we need those people in our life that cause conflict. That makes us, sometimes, sometimes it may, the fact that you have a thought about somebody that may, you know, may not be all all for you. It, sometimes it may make you start working harder. It may make you start putting more into yourself. Like, I feel like people are placed in our life for different reasons in different areas because God knows us. God knows our heart. God knows exactly what we're going to do. Sometimes we're going to step up to the plate and we're going to boss up and we're going to be like, I ain't going to let this person we're going, to, we're going to let our ego get involved. And sometimes our ego have to get involved. Our shadow side gets involved. And our, sometimes our shadow side has to get involved with things. And our light side can't really handle it. And we have to give it over to our shadow side. So you've been trying to figure something out, figure somebody out for a while now, trying to see if it was, if it's true. Do this person mess with me? Is it just me? Is it my energy that I'm bringing to the table? No, the sun is going to let you know. No, it was them. It was them. You weren't tripping. You was not tripping. It was them. But you had to wait on my end. You had to wait for me. You had to wait for the universe to allow things to, to, to appear to you. Sometimes we go through a period of darkness and we're supposed to go through a period of darkness. And in that period of darkness, you see because you go crazy. Then you come on back. Then you might step back and go crazy again. Then you come on back. But I feel like some of you guys tried to figure out something, try to figure out the conflict and you didn't, and you were in the dark looking. So you couldn't see anything because you yourself were in conflict. You yourself were conflicted. You couldn't get any rest either. You yourself was running on empty too. So your perception may have been off. Your perception may have been way off and now you're about to see what the real conflict and what the real hostilities are, okay? You got healing the heart, self-love, the power of self-love. I feel like the sun just rained down some, rain down on me. Haven't I been singing that for a long time? Maybe it's the sun. It's the sun. It's the sun. Rain down on me. I'm a little, you know, I'm a little rusty right now, but, but I think the sun has been raining down on you, healing energy and through healing, I feel like you guys are realizing that in order to heal the things in your life, first, it starts with 
self-love. It's the power of loving yourself. It's the power of that vibration of putting into you. And that's how you heal those things around you. For some of you guys, you were neglecting putting that love and that energy into you and you were trying to help everyone else and nothing was getting done. Nothing was getting done. Yeah, you were making, you know, you were making, yeah, you were like, you were able to give, to, to lend a person $5 or you were able to, to, to fix a, a leak or somewhere, but in you, nothing was happening because you were neglecting the power of self-love. For some of you guys, you, you, you were like, self-love, yeah, yeah, yeah. I should do my work, my self-work, mm, okay, okay, I guess so. But now you guys are realizing the power of self. You're realizing that you're a source. You're a source of a magnetic field. And once you, and if you keep building your source up, then you overflow. But you don't go from an empty source, from an empty saucer, and then try to build everyone up. That's how you stay here in the dark. That's why you stay and you can't see. You can't do anything. Because not only are you not resting, you're not getting any sleep. You're thinking somebody constantly, somebody lives in your head, possibly. Um, you have not forgave, okay? You're still thinking that this person is going to attack. You're still in fight mode. Not only are you doing that, but you're not loving yourself either, okay? Then we have death and rebirth. I feel like the death part is what I was just talking about. And the rebirth is you come into a light. And then we get, you see how it gets like, it tells you what you are doing. And then the death and the rebirth comes up. And then we get into the telepathy and the setting boundaries. We get into like the strong type energy. I feel like for some of you guys, you had to go to the darkness because it's something keen that you've seen in the darkness. It was some, it was a support system. It was a friend. It was a mindset. It was something that you've seen in that darkness that you need in the light. And that's why God told you go in this, go here. Yeah, I know. You don't know how you're going to get out. Okay, you don't know if you're going, you know, you don't know if you're going to get out. You don't know if you're going to get hurt. You don't know if it's water in there, if it's fire in there, if it's bugs, if it's bats. But go in here. Go in here and I'll see you on the other side. And you're like, what? Go where? What should I do? I need to go where? Go into the darkness. Death and rebirth. Darkness coming to the light. What was unseen is coming to the light. I feel like that is what the sun is trying to show you. What was unseen, there's some things you missed. And you may be smart, you may be intuitive, you may have psychic gifts, but there's something that you missed. There's something that you didn't see. There's a piece to the puzzle that you've been overlooking the whole time. And just before you're about to knock the puzzle, the table, and the drinks over the peace comes out. Okay, you have telepathy, transmission, perception, and communication. This is you having the communication not only with source, but you communicating. I remember, I got to check the dates on things now because now things are feeling um, trippy. Okay, now things are feeling real trippy for me because I got to check the date because I did have a moment of the first time when I felt my crown chakra opening up at the top of my head and it almost felt like a rose, you know, the opening part of a rose and that's what it felt like. Um, I feel like there's some type of information that you have that... You want to be careful with how you ex uh, how you extend or how you give out this information, okay? This is your um, perception, transmission, perception, and communication. This is being able to see things, having 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 intuitive and intelligent gifts. Some of you guys are very like this. Is also I feel like telepathy is going to a next level of manifestation. When you start getting to the place of as soon as you think of a person they call or as soon as you think of something, you get it. That is when your manifestations are very, very heightened and very high, okay? 
then you have setting boundaries, threshold protection, and honor. Some of you guys are going to have to walk away from things. You see how the beginning started with the um, hostilities and then the end starts with the setting boundaries, cutting things off, like putting your hands up like there's no more of this. For some of you guys, all of this has something to do with some type of hostility happening that you have to see. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this reading up. If any of that resonated with you, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. Okay. <sighs> thank you. Thank you for the messages. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Okay. Let me know if y'all say that. That's my little prayer right there. Okay. Tell me more about hostilities for Libra. Oh, hostilities. Got the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups. Tell me more about healing the heart for Libra. Mm. Self-love. Look at you. Look at you. And then here's the devil right here. Look at this devil darkness energy trying to get you to, to not see the light. Trying to get you to not see the, the, the clarity. Balancing. Being able to balance this dark side or this dark entity or this, 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 this devil-like energy that's trying to get you to, to pull you from a certain time. Do you remember at the start of the pandemic um, when people kept saying this is demon time, this is demon time, and a lot of things were happening with people, a lot of people was doing fuck shit. Like just, I, I was seeing a lot of crazy stuff and I couldn't believe that people were doing it and there was no type, there was no shame in no one's game, okay? Um, there was nothing and like nothing. And then next thing you know, it was like this ignorant bullshit about feminine energy and masculine energy and how feminine energy, well, the, the most people that I see about feminine energy, how they act like they don't need masculine energy, but in the same time, they need masculine energy. Because if you don't need masculine energy, what the fuck did you change your whole body for? For feminine energy? Would you change your whole lifestyle to attract masculine energy? But then you get on camera and say, you know, I don't need it. I don't need it. You ain't tell, you ain't say that. That's, that's not the truth. I feel like that this time needed a little light because not only were people in, in the mindset, like when you have nothing to look forward to, okay, that's when you start seeing when you got that energy, like where hey, you only live once, that's when you see what a person's really, really made of. And I hope you guys, your eyes were open on what the things that you've seen, because a lot of people was doing a lot of stupid shit. Like a lot of things that was like, we doing that now? Are we saying that now? Okay, so this is this. And I remember um, having these energies of, even though this is two masculines, I, I was having that energy of, this um, feminine energy versus the masculine energy. And I hate that whole debacle. I hate the whole heightened things. I think both points are, 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 are um, both points are, I, I feel like both sides are needed. We are made up of both sides. So you cannot say, no, F this person. You can't say F the person that you want to marry and have kids with. Because at the end of the day, you want to marry and have kids with this man. And I just, I didn't get it. And I just felt like it was just weird for the youth. So the youth can definitely have some type of weird type of energy when it comes to um, mating. When it comes to actually respecting other energies, okay? When it comes to respecting that, that, that yin or respecting that yang. And then we have something to do with like shadow work. So 
I, I just took it in context when people kept saying this is demon time and demon time is like the, the shadow side or the, the dark side of things, the unseen, the unknown. This was this is this is time for you to do your shadow work. This is time for you to start getting in touch with that part of you that you don't necessarily know. Before you get to say some things, and I know I have, and they come out at times that are very inconvenient for you, and you're going to say some shit that you're going to regret because you're going to be like, no, I'm, ti I'm tired. I'm tired of not saying anything. And then that tiredness, that frustration, all those times of holding yourself back, you're going to burst open a bubble and you're going to say some things. It's not going to be at the right time. They're going to be like, what the hell is wrong with Libra? Why did Libra say this stuff? So I feel like healing the heart is 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 you actually confronting this, you actually looking at this. When you shed light here, in all actuality with the justice card here, the devil card couldn't exist. <clears throat> in all actuality, the devil card wouldn't be here anymore. Because once you go into this dark place, you've illuminated it. You've illuminated it. Have you ever meditated? And let's say you have these thoughts, right? And you sit there, you go there, and you're like, okay, now just think about anything. Your mind ain't going to think about shit. Because it's almost like when you go to the bathroom and you got to use the bathroom and people looking at you and you had to go so bad and you sit on the toilet and everyone's looking at you and nothing's coming out. Like, let's say you're on a trip or everybody had to stop and go. You Remember those times back in the day? It's like you, all your cousins in the bathroom together or everybody popping a squat. Like, don't act like y'all ain't did it before, especially no kids. Everybody got to pop a squat behind this tree and you had to go real, real bad. You done whined about it. That's why your mama then rolled everybody up, the cousins too. It was like, all right, everybody go ahead behind that tree. You get get y'all some napkins. And now you can't go because everyone's looking. That's what happens to darkness. It's like, okay, okay, you want let me shine some light on you. Oh, that's what it is. That's how that that that's how it is. Okay. So I feel like from a lot of you guys, this this is also light and dark. The justice card and this devil energy. The justice card is all about fairness and understanding, okay? Fairness, understanding, also communication, also um, intelligence. This person knows now. That's why I've been saying shadow work, shadow work, shadow work, shadow work, shadow work. Do your shadow work. I'm actually going to start doing prompts. I'm going to come back on the, um, I'm going to do a little video, but... I'm actually going to start doing prompts. Like, I'm going to start sharing my shadow work prompts. So, if you're interested in doing your shadow work, interested in following, I'm going to do 30 days straight. I do my shadow work every single day. Okay? So, if you're interested in that, make sure you follow me on Instagram. The, the um, information will be in the description bar because I will be posting my shadow work prompts that I do every day. Also, right now, I'm working on my heart chakra opening up my heart chakra right now, okay, um, because I've seen, um, and this is just me, I've seen that the, my relationships got to change, baby, okay, I can't do that no more, uh-uh, no, not about to turn 30, not, not with the dirty 30 coming up, oh no, some things got to change, okay, so I can't do with that anymore, so now I'm opening up my heart chakra, trying to figure out what attracts me to things, you know what I'm saying? My attractions, my relationships, my, my, my deepest feelings and things like that. And then my shadow work to see, okay, what I've actually been attracting, you know? Um, so if you're interested in that, make sure you follow me down below. But this is understanding your shadow side. This is you looking at the man in the mirror. This is you turning all the lights off and looking at you. Um, I was watching... Um, Damn, I forgot his name, but he's like good ass prana. Okay, that's the I, I was watching, and it was an old, it's, a, it's an old video, and he was like, people have three people, three. It's 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 always three people in every person. It's the person that you show everyone. It's the person that you show your close friends and your family, and it's the person that you don't show nobody. That's what that is. What you need to get to know at this time. The person that you don't show nobody is your jealousy, okay? It's the narcissistic ways. It's the ways you manipulate to get your way. We all do it. We all do it. It's just, it. we just know that it's not attractive. 
especially if especially if you operate in light, we know that it's not attractive and we try to hide that. Dang, I've been talking for 24 minutes already. But we know it's not attractive and we try to hide that and we try to dress it up with some light. Not saying that we're not light. We are. But we're also that other person too. Okay? And it's getting to know that and healing. And that's the power of self-love. The power of self-love is loving all of you. Your light side and your dark side is coming into balance. This will be a yin and a yang. Or yin and yang, however the hell it go. I don't know, okay? <laughs> this would be the yin and the yang, the light and the darkness coming together and existing together. Both elements in respecting each other. The feminine and the masculine coming together, living together, resting together, okay? Fitting perfectly together because they're needed. Because that's what you're made up of. Everything is made up of shadows. You wouldn't be able to see if there weren't any shadows here, dimensions. You won't be able to see shit. You need the shadows to even see. Let's move on. Then let's say death and rebirth, darkness to light. Tell me more about death and rebirth for Libra. You got the five of swords in reverse. Peace. Making amends with the problems. Peace. For some of you guys, you're going to understand this person here. You're going to have compassion. Compassion to those people who, with the hostilities, and this maybe what the Queen of Cups is saying. And it says, look, look, I shouted out Queen Cups. Look. Yeah. Some of you guys are definitely going to be um, having some compassion to the people who created some type of conflicts and, you know, the hostile people in your envir environment. Because once you get to know yourself, you're going to realize, I'm just like that. I do that same thing. I, I may not, you may not have done it to them. Now, now, when people say that, they're like, I never did anything to them. That's not what we're talking about. You may not have done these things to them, but you've done them. Because this person came to you. There's millions of people on the earth. Why they come to you? There's hundreds of thousands of people in your state. Why they with you? Why they come and do that to you? For some of you guys, you have to understand... And that's how you heal the heart. That's how you make peace. That's how you come out more peaceful. And this is also how you don't let your energy get affected by things so easily. Because you understand that we're all that. For some of you guys, you've been living in this high and mighty. Like, I would never do. And I have never done. I know I didn't. I would never. I'm not the type of person that would. And when I get upset, my voice get all high pitched. And then you sit back and do your shadow work. You're like, damn, <laughs> I do I do that too. Dang, I, I guess I do do that, don't I? Coming on the other side from darkness to light, peaceful and happy. Peaceful and happy. Peaceful and confident. Your Ten of Cups. For some of you guys, your peace is your ultimate happiness. For some of you guys, it's in your peace. You're trying to figure out where is it? Where's my happiness? I'm trying to do more things. It's in your peace. And don't be, don't be confused because for some reason, there's been this negative shadow over the world. Everybody's like, fuck my family. I don't want to give my motherfucking grandmother a kiss. Fuck her. Fuck these. And it's like, what, what the hell? What's going on? Your, your your happiness is in your peace. Your peace. Don't be confused with these because this is a time right now where, when the sun is, is, is letting off light. Best believe it's going to be energy fields coming in people, places, and things to try to attract you so you won't see that light. Because once you see that light, they disappear. 
So as as much as people that they, that could come into the the darkness, and excuse me if I sound kind of weird because I'm just like I'm just getting this. It's all like a freestyle. So just call me hove right now. Sorry. <laughs> um. Anyways, <laughs> but. There's going to be things trying to get you. And I feel like it's going to be the collective. It's going to be what the collective is doing. Please, like, I know people don't want to be that one that always got to go against the grain. But make sure you're yourself in this. Make sure you're, you are you. You are yourself in this whole thing. You're not trying to be anyone else. Your happiness, your peace, your self-love depends on it. Okay? Tell me more about telepathy for Libra. Oh, mm. you have the King of Wands and the Five of Pentacles, okay? So some of you guys are going to be attracting a Leo to you. And this is 2-2. Two, two. This is you reaching out and communicating with all the elements of Earth. This is also you reaching out and communicating with the negative, the, 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 the negatives of earth. With the lack, with the I don't have. For some of you guys, this is a very, very, very um, manifestative. I don't even know what that's a word. <laughs> this is a very fertile time for you. And some of you guys are actually going to be um, reaching out to new levels. Every time I see the King of Wands, I think of two things. <laughs> when I think of when I think about relationships, I think of the King of Wands. You know, being that married man that like to dibble and dabble outside of their marriage. So some of you guys may actually be attracting that to you as well. And then I also think about the more powerful one that I think about, unless it's a love reading. This is not a love reading. This is an energetic reading. I think about the King of Wands being a person who had, is the come up, the glow up, and this fire as well. So I think about the person who, and also your vision, your visualization, because the King of Wands, I tell, I've been, I feel like I've been telling the King of Wands story more than any person's story. Um, but the King of Wands was not born into royalty. The King of Wands worked the hard way. And one of the reasons why he's still where he's at, because he has not set in his mind, like, okay, now it's time to chill. No, he still works like he was that boy trying to be royalty. And that's why his vision's so big. That's why he has so much influence. Because not only could he connect to the royals, not only could he connect to the haves, but he can connect to the have-nots. This is probably what that is. The haves and the have-nots. Being able to communicate. Being able to respond. Being able to open up to them. Being able to see every aspect of your environment. The haves and the have-nots. What is your perception of a person who has and what is your perception to, to a person who does not have? What, how do you see them? For some of you guys, it's, it's you. Some of you guys are communicating a level like you don't have. When you are royalty. When you are the king, king of wands. When you are royalty. When you have vision. You have influence over others. You can step out there. But you're, you're operating like you don't have. Like you're in lack. Like you're going through a hardship and you're not. For some of you guys, you tuck that money away. Like you're going through a hard time and you're not. You're not going through a hard time. You deserve to treat yourself. But this is all, this is the, the five of wands is already the idea before you didn't treat yourself. So you already lived your life not treating yourself. And now you're seeing the results of it. So the King of Wands is able 
to connect to the haves and the have nots because of his vision, because of his telepathy. Do you see? And this is 22. So it definitely could be, this is a, the connection between this, the connection between the have and the have nots or being prosperous and coming from lack, understanding you can have. The king of wands had to understand that he could have. The King of Wands had to understand that, you know what? I'm about to start operating like I have because I can have that and that's who I am. Not slacking on the hard work. Somebody's here also is not. Then you have five, 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 five. And two, two, two. You have somebody who is bringing lack to them. Somebody is bringing lack to themselves in hopes of truly being the king of wands, but the king of wands didn't operate from lack. The king of wands didn't have, but that's not what he operated from. He didn't operate from lack. He treated himself like a king. He worked like a king would work. He spoke his vision. He he networked with people. He talked to different people, rubbed elbows with different people like a king would. Not like a person who doesn't have, who would hide out and who the people don't, don't, don't want them to see them or something like that. Be mindful of what you're bringing into your life. And then some of you have the power to connect to the haves and the have-nots, okay? And these are just people who are in, you know, higher places and then people who aren't. So the regular common folk, like you and me, okay? <laughs> um, let's get this last one. Tell me more about setting boundaries for Libra. Got the king of swords. Changing your mind. It was difficult changing your mind here. For some of you guys, you ain't want to set these boundaries. You ain't want this type of power. For some of you guys, it was so difficult. Like you were headstrong in what you were doing. <laughs> okay. But your mind changed. You start opening up to different things. I feel like this has a lot to do with. So whoever is in self-love, healing, whatever work, shadow work, this is, this is key. Even when I do it, I know it's key. I just know, like, it's just the feeling that I feel, the understanding that I get. It's key. And I know that I'm putting myself in a vibration that I'm vibrating on the things that I desire. I know that. But I got to go in the dark every day. I got to wake up in the morning, see some sunlight, sunshine, and then go in the dark. Here they come on out. I don't know how I'm going to come on out, but I know I'm coming on out, okay? And that's how it is. Um, every day is every day will be going in the dark. For some of you guys, this setting boundaries, it can be, if you're just looking at the signs of it, it could be setting boundaries with a um, Aquarius, but I feel like this is how hard it was for you to change your mind. This is how hard you finally change. Your mind was fixated on something else. On an illusion. On your emotions. On the love that you possibly feel for a person. Now you see a person where they are. Sometimes a person's energy. When you get around people. Have you ever got around a person and, they, I, I, and, their, and their energy is so, so negative and draining. They're not like that with everyone. They put themselves in a vibration to lower yours. And just because of the love and the compassion that you have for this person and your lack of ability to see due to your own conflicts, due to your own and um due to your own drainage, probably your own low vibration, you can't even see. 
Somebody puts themselves in a low vibration just to piss you off because you they know it's going to piss you off. They know that. And they like, I know how to get her. Or I know how to get him. This is all I got to do. Act like they're in a, in, a, in, a, in a funk, in a funky ass mood. Okay? And it gets you every time. This could also be a hostility with the cancer. But Cancerian energy, understanding how you feel about this person. Right now, it's all about how you feel about this person. Realizing how this person makes you feel. For some of you guys, this person didn't do anything yet. They didn't strike yet because it's the moon. It's an illusion. They're showing you a side that's not really real. They're showing you something else. For some of these per people, they've, they've shown up. They've, they've said the supportive words. But for some reason... It's the way that this person's making you feel. You're analyzing that. Like your feelings is, is bothering you. Like I can't put my finger on it. I can't see it. But something is up here. Something ain't genuine. Something's not loyal. Damn. And everybody's looking at you like you crazy. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? This person said congratulations. And then you're analyzing everything about it and how you feel about these things, how you feel about this person. Because you're analyzing how a person makes you feel. But the light is definitely coming. The bottom of the deck, we have the three of cups, a celebration. Togetherness. I feel like this is a collective idea. What's better for the collective? What's better for the whole? Setting boundaries is better for the collective. Changing your mind is better. What's better for the group? What's going to be better in the long run? What's going to truly make you happy? For some of you guys, you don't want to set these boundaries because you fear that you're going to lose these people. And then at the bottom of the deck is these people. It is people having fun, laughing on your same vibration. For some of you guys, you don't set boundaries because you don't want to be alone. But what you don't see on the other side of it is you're surrounded by people who love and truly adore you. Not people who show you something different. For some of you guys, you're going to be like, people are definitely going to be getting exposed with this light. And I feel like since this, very, this was very a dark time, the fact that the earth burst any, um, the fact that the sun burst anything out and sent it down here on earth, that is clarity already. That's light already. And this was already a dark time with pandemics and all of these things and whatever. That's already, that is. Basically, if you've heard anything about the solar storm, you have any information, let me know. You can email me because, listen, if you have any information about it, I like stuff. I like topics like this. Okay. If you have any info about it, you definitely can reach out to me. You can leave a comment. You can DM me on Instagram. You can email me. We could talk about it. Okay. Um, let's get, let's clarify. Where am I at? This is going to be a long video because this is a deep one. And this is a deep one. So let's get into it. Okay. Tell me more about the Queen Cups. The Queen of Cups. Mmm. It's overwhelming. For some of you guys, it is it's a it's overwhelming. It's a lot on you. <sighs> These emotions that you have is a lot on you. For some of you guys, you're going to be going to... Like, something is putting too much on you. The way that you're feeling about a situation, the way that you're reacting to it, the way that something's making you feel, is making you feel drained. It's draining your energy. Your energy is depleted when you're around this person. Then we talk about a person lowering their vibration. So in the end, they can lower yours. They don't mind being low. They, they don't mind going down to the ground just to, low your, just to lower yours. That's like the saying when you wrestle with pigs. 
you're going to get dirty. But the thing is, the pig don't mind getting dirty. It's somebody who don't mind going there. They don't mind. I be in the funk. I be in the nastiest attitude just so I can ruin your day. And then I'm going to go back and be happy and, um, you know, talk to other people like I didn't just do that. Like, I don't got to pay for that, for real. That's my favorite word. Oh, you got to pay for that. <laughs> like, they don't got to pay. But somebody's draining you. You're listening to your feelings. You can't feel it. And for some reason, you could be feeling drained. Tell me more about And at the bottom of the deck, which you don't see. Sorry about that. You don't see the hermit. You don't see the information that you're about to get from this. You don't see the wisdom that you're about to get from this. You about to realize that your body is a whole communication system. If your elbow hurts around the person, you have to check them out and see what the hell that's coming from. Okay, you're about to understand something. It's about to go on to another, a whole other level with this empress. The, the, I mean, not this empress. This hermit energy, especially if this thing could be happening in Virgo season. We are in Virgo season, right? Tell me more about hostilities. Judgment. For some of you guys, these hostilities that you see, these conflicts, this unresting period that you're in, this was called for you. For some of you guys, um, how strong you think the, 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 the Ten of Wands is going to be once he finished carrying these wands? Yes, it hurts them. Yes, it's draining. Yes, it's a lot of work that he had to do it by himself. If he had a team, he could have um, split up the wands easily. He had to do it by himself. But don't you think that God knows more than you know? And he knows that right now, right now it's going to be a little painful. But when you get up, how strong your back is going to be. The back is your stability. That's how you stand up. How strong your back is going to be. How strong that backbone is going to be. Then at the bottom of the deck is the hierophant. Like, what? Just, just wait a minute. Wait a minute. Everything you need to see, you're going to see. Just wait a minute. Tell me more about the justice card for Libra. Nine of Cups. And tell me more about the devil card for Libra. The Four of Cups in reverse. And at the bottom of the deck, you got the World card. Remember we were talking about you're going to understand what it means for completion? You're going to understand that? A blessing. For some of you guys, you're, you are about to be totally aware, totally um, attentive to the shadows. They're not going to be able to sneak up on you. You're looking at it. This is also new options. Now I feel like instead of hiding, instead, instead of suppressing the shadow side, now you embrace it. This is new options. You're already well pleased with the light work. Come on, we know. We all we're well pleased with the light work. But now you're turning around to the shadow work. Also receiving a blessing. For some of you guys, the blessing is in doing the shadow work. For some of you guys, you've been doing light work since you popped out. You were born in the light. And for some of you guys, you kept that person that you let nobody see tucked away. And nobody knows who the hell that person is. You don't even know. You just know sometimes they come out and I'll be like, man, why did I do that? Sometimes you guys, they come out and when they come out, you're going to neglect somebody else who sees it because you're like, okay, damn, now they're about to judge a person. I know that was me.
For some of you guys, the universe is giving you a new option. Instead of being falling victim to this, victim to this dark side, victim to having this, this dark side tell you what to do. Because some of you guys, this was controlling you and you only had no control over when it would come out, what it, what it was going to say, what it was going to do. Now it's, now it's giving you a new option. The new option. And this is coming from source, from God. This is a gift. The, the, the Four of Cups is a gift from God. And the only thing is with this um, reverse is that you're attentive to the gift from God. You understand that this is a gift from God. Like I said, when I do my shadow work, I know. And I feel like you, you're going to know when you do it. Like you're going to know. Okay. <clears throat> At the bottom of the deck, you have the, the world card. This is completion. For some of you guys, this is the last step. Some of you guys, you got to know this, this shadow. You have to know your shadow. This is moving on to the next thing with more knowledge than you had before. Now you're ready to come to the light. You see the next card is the darkness coming to the light. Now you're ready to go and come to the light. Tell me more about healing the heart for Libra. Healing the heart, you have the emperor. <laughs> you feel drained. <laughs> the emperor is the Libra shadow side. The emperor is the Aries. For some of you guys, you've been doing a lot of work in the wrong area. Just point blank. The, the emperor is, is protecting. You've been doing a lot of protecting. But doing a lot of, you know, trying to protect this part. Everything. And it's been draining you. And now you're ready for some new, some new energy. And the universe gives it to you. It's like, here you go. The sun actually explodes so you can get it or loses a layer so you can get it or however that go. Yeah, don't quote me. Tell me more about the five of swords in reverse. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love. You got the king of cups. You got something to say. You're peaceful. You went back to both sides. You understand yourself fully. And now nothing can hold back what you feel. Not saying that you're reckless with your feelings or anything like that. But you're emotionally intelligent and you're not holding back. You understand what it feels like to hold back. You understand why a part of you holds back. And then your shadow side erupts. Now you're not there anymore. You had something to say. Hey, yo, Dre, I got something to say. Okay. You have something to say. This is also a higher level of consciousness. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Wands, a new beginning. Fully expressing yourself in love, fully express, expressing the love that you want, the love that you need. Fully expressing your feelings to something, to someone. Or just being in a, a, a way more expressive time. And this gives you, for some of you guys, you've been holding back for dear life. And the universe is trying to pull you out that shell, little turtle. Trying to pull you out that shell. And you're out. For some of you guys, this is your own hostilities. Tell me more about death and rebirth for Libra. The Ace of Pentacles. This is a gift. This is your gift. To be rebirthed into a new. And your rebirth comes with peace. Also with money. Also with gifts. For some of you guys, you might realize that this is where the money is. You have um, excitement, passion, communication, excited, passion, opening yourself up, talking more, speaking more, opening yourself up, being more peaceful. This is going to be a whole, some, somebody's going to start seeing a whole different you. Tell me more, or this could already happen. Tell me more about the King of Wands for Libra. You got the King of Swords. For some of you guys, um, there's going to be a Leo 
that could also be an Aquarius. There's some type of Aquarian energy and Leo energy here. Like I said, we talked the whole spiel about the haves and the haves not, have nots. Okay, I feel like a lot of you guys, you're, um, your weight, you're intelligent in this. I feel like this has a lot to do with your intelligence and your intuition and your mental clarity. For some of you guys, you're clear. You're clear on what you're bringing towards your life, okay? At the bottom of the deck, you have the, um... Knight of Wands. For some of you guys, you're clear on the excitement that you're bringing in your life. You see it. Your eyes are open. You're not. You're not in dark anymore. You're in full light. Okay. Also, with this King of Swords popping up twice. I feel like some of you guys could have had a little a, a, a push and pull moment with changing your mind. Tell me more about the Five of um, Pentacles. Look, five of wands, you got the five, five, five conflicts. So some of you guys are clear about the conflicts and the lack that you bring in your life. You understand that you bring all elements. You understand all elements of what you attracted. And this is the sun letting you know of the source of power that you are understanding all elements of yourself. Tell me more about telepathy for Libra. Look, that house burnt down. For some of you guys, the way that you set lack in your life broke down. For some of you guys, the way that you thought that things were coming to your life was a false perception. There's some type of thing that comes down so this new passion, this new love can come in. This unexpected excitement can come right in your life. And you and you you you're not building anything off of false ideas. Your wishes are coming true now. You understand that you attract all elements. You understand that you attract the abundance and the lack to your life. So anywhere where you felt like that there was lack what inside of you was attracting that lack and that's when you start really doing your your work okay that's when you start really doing your real work tell me more about the king of swords the sun it took a long time to change your mind but the sun the sun the sun sent these things down here it was pins and needles to change your mind. You were not going to go into that dark place. You were not going to go there. You felt different. Like whatever other people were saying, you was like, no, that's not for me. I'm going to stay in the light. I'm going to stay here in the light the way I like to stay. I'm going to stay right here. Nope. At the bottom of the deck. We have the Eight of Pentacles. You're learning something, learning yourself, learning about setting boundaries. Your boundaries bring you happiness. Setting boundaries bring you happiness. It took a long time to change your mind, but your happiness is over there. Tell me more about setting boundaries for Libra. And let's get on up out of here. You got the four of pentacles. You set your boundaries because what's valuable for you is valuable to you. For some of you guys, you've realized that you can't spread yourself as wide and as thin as you wanted to. Or you'll be looking like this. Ten. Some of you guys could be saying ten, ten. Drain, drain, and drain. It takes a lot to do that. Some of you guys are realizing that everybody just aren't going to have access to you and that's okay. That is a-okay. Everybody's not going to have access to you. Everybody's not supposed to have access to you. And that's fine. But holding on with what your value to. Be very, very mindful about that. This is a whole time for you to let you know how valuable you are. To let you know how much source, how everything you are. You're holding yourself. And look at the bottom of the deck. You're holding your valuables to 
because you got the five of wands, you realize that there's three people in everybody. So the person that you showed me, who the hell is that? And who's that other person that I ain't seeing yet? You, I didn't got bamboozled way too many times to fall for the okie doke. So a boundary is going to be set to protect my valuables and to protect yours. And that's where we're going at it. And we're going to respect each other's. And and I'm not going to make a choice once you come in and take and, and take my valuables. I'm going to know once you try to overstep my boundary. You see how you protect your valuables? Once you don't respect my boundaries, I understand that there's no respect for me. And I'm gone now. Because for some of you guys, you're going to be so enlightened. You're going to be able to see a hidden agenda from the door. I peeped you from the door. Okay. That's probably what I'm going to call this video. Let me get off of here. Okay. Thank you guys so much for being here with me. I hope this reading resonated with you. If you did, if it did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. I love you guys. And I will see you in the next video. And remember, if you're interested in doing the shadow work with me, Make sure you follow me on Instagram, okay? And if you have any information about the solar song, okay, the solar thing, make sure you DM me on Instagram or you email me. I love you guys. Have a beautiful day. I will see you guys in the next video.